We've all seen the electric scooters cruising around the pits, but what if we took one and put it on steroids? A lot of steroids. What would it look like? How fast could it go? On a warm night at the Portland International Raceway, I got to see the results, and I was, well, I called this segment shocked. Racing electric is a whole different world from racing uh, a gasoline car. People think, oh, it's the same thing. Oh, it's a whole different set of rules. It's a giant cordless drill with wheat. Basic parts. We have the batteries, the A123 system nanophosphate cells. I'm running DC motors, just like they ran in World War I submarines. DC brush motors. We have Stone Age motors and Space Age batteries. We have 990 of them down there, which gives us 374 volts at 1500 amps. So that's about 390 horsepower. You blew the tire up. In the middle of the burnout, it actually shifted from series to parallel. And when it does that, it actually has to stop motion and then take off again. And it was just too much force on the tire to make made the tire come off the wheel. After the tire problem, we needed to make sure that what happened is what we thought happened. And we didn't want to put too much power in it and have that happen again. So after that run, we're pretty confident we know why the tire came off. And now it's a little safer to put the power to it again. More voltage is higher speed, more amps is more torque. We're going to go out there tonight and hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'm hoping to get into the seven. What we do is we'll turn it up step by step to find out where that breaking point is. That's what we do. We'll go out here and try to run it again, make sure the tire stays on there, just make kind of an easy pass. We definitely don't want the tire to come off going down the track. Essentially, these guys are using existing motors. They're called series-wound, form-coil DC motors. They're not up to this task. My job is beefing them up as best I can. So I look at real-world data, where it's telling, make that part last a little bit longer. not spinning the tire so we're gonna turn the power up see if we can go quite a bit faster on this run we've kicked it up to uh, 205 volts at uh, 1575 and actually bring it up to full 390 horsepower so let's see what happens hopefully with the power now it'll go straight you're watching the future of racing by two give it three years and this will be the fastest way to go down the track That's the fastest uh, mile per hour ever done by an electric in a, in a quarter mile. <laughs> 